Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus, where we strive for supernatural immunity from the wickedness of today's world by focusing on the inspired words of Holy Scripture. Today's discussion is in the Doctrines of the Early Church playlist and is entitled The Perpetual Virginity of Mary, Addendum Number 2. And again, if you'd like to see arguments for why to trust the teachings of the early church, please check out this older video from June 5th, 2021. It's an 8 minute and 40 second video where I present a rationale scripturally for why we should believe the teachings of the early church, which do include the teaching of the perpetual virginity of Mary. All right, we got Mark chapter 6, verses 3 to 4. These are Jews speaking to Lord Jesus, unbelieving Jews. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joses and of Judah and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? So again, according to these Jews, Lord Jesus is the son of Mary, which he is, but he's the brother of James, Joses, and Judah and Simon had sisters. I'm not going to show this, but there's other verses where Jews call Lord Jesus the son of the carpenter and uh, um, uh, Samaritan and demon-possessed, etc. So just because certain Jews said something, they did say that, but that doesn't mean it's true necessarily. And they were offended at him. So notice these Jews are offended at Lord Jesus. But So what does that tell us about their you know, spiritual heart and spiritual eyes and spiritual ears and spiritual mind? But Jesus said unto them, so this is his response, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. So his own kin. So he's referring to Mary, but he's also referring to this James, Joseph, Judah, Simon, and these quote-unquote sisters. Matthew 13, 55. Is not this the carpenter's son? So this is the same event in Matthew. Notice they're calling him the son of the carpenter. And was Joseph his father? No, he was his stepfather. Oh, so the father is a stepfather. Hmm, could the brothers be stepbrothers perhaps or something else? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren, James and Joses and Simon and Judas? Right, in Mark 6, 4, the Greek, this is what Lord Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life responds. He calls them relatives, sihinousen. It's derived from Greek Strong's 47, 73, sihenis, related, fellow con- countrymen, kinsmen, relative, kinsmen, offspring, relation, right? Relative, kinsman or cousin, derived from sin and hienos. Now, quick video. Let's compare that to when that word, Sienis is used in another verse, Luke chapter 1, verse 36. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. Hmm. So who was Elizabeth compared to Mary? Hey, that was her cousin. And guess what the Greek word is? Sienis. So according to Lord Jesus, those individuals were his cousins. Okay? So understand, anyone who brings up that particular verse in Mark to prove that Lord Jesus had actual half-brothers and half-sisters is mistaken. That's what those unbelieving Jews called those individuals. Lord Jesus called them his cousins. And here's the proof right here related to the relationship between Elizabeth and Mary. I pray that was edifying for you all. Amen.